Welcome to the podcast. The, uh, all right. <laughs> that sounded good. <laughs> no, I know, but I totally fucked up. Anyway, yeah, yeah. on on three. I think <laughs> like <laughs> just you can just no, skip just, ladies. I don't think there's a single female listening to. <laughs> uh, we don't know that. Anyway, Actually, yeah, everyone. Much. Casey told me she listened to like one or two. <laughs> then she burned nice. them. Burned her computer. Oh, let me take a sip. Go for it. <laughs> I didn't see nothing wrong with that last one, though, by the way. No, I did. I, I fucked up. I Can we just add all of this? Show. No, we, we can't add That's it. the intro. All right, let's go. No, all right, we'll go. In three, two, one. Hey, what's going on? We are the Art School Rejects, and tonight's podcast is going to be a good one. So we thought about it, and we're going to talk about the top our top five movies we have some and TV shows of 2015. We had to do some so, homework. Oh, we had to do some homework? Yeah. yeah list list we, our top five favorites. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. That we're going to talk about our top five favorite movies and TV shows mm-hmm. of 2015. But it was like, it's like homework. I had, to, I had to sit down and fucking use my brain. Uh, okay. Good job. Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so, let's introduce tonight's guests and everyone who is here. So right. first things off, we have Carlos. What's up? We have Chad. What up? And we have Jake. Hello, everybody. And we have myself, <laughs> Shane. Thank you, man. You got to quit it with that voice. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Your YouTube voice. <laughs> no, it's just a radio voice. No, I know. you. Whenever you make a YouTube video, that's how you start. Yeah, I do the same one. Hey, everyone. Well, everybody. Hey, guys. What's going me. on? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> all right. Okay. So... All right, so I think what we should we should probably start off with the movies first, and then get into TV shows. What do you guys think about that? Sounds good. All about it. Great. All right, all right. Proper, but, proper. Uh, I, I mean, we all have a list, right? Um, I guess digital. I'll go first. <clears throat> I'll go first. Um, so 2015. There's a lot of good movies that came out. And, a lot. Uh, Many. I have to say. By far, my favorite movie that came out of well, 2015. Drum, drum, drum roll, somebody. Drum roll, someone. Hit me up real quick. We we don't do ad laters. We do it straight and then. <laughs> Mad Max, Fury Road. Oh. Man. Imperator Furiosa. That's a good oh, one. Dude. That was, I'm I, pretty I, sure I, that's on everybody's list. What one? Yep. Yeah. I. Wait, what? It's not on your list, Jake? Mad Max? Get out. Get, yeah, out. get out it's on it get out Leave not the necessarily because it's okay. a great movie though oh all right because jake only watched three movies all year <laughs> <laughs> yeah damn it's on there by anyway <laughs> so uh, reese my reasons for liking this movie reese was, Riddispoon? uh she's not in it she, but it, she should it. be she's in reese witherspoon it. yeah who is she yeah <laughs> she was in it but she's like a troll on the people that nailed by the water movie. She's Furiosa's doppelganger. Yeah. She's a stand-in. I mean, every she her was, stunt man, <laughs> yeah. her stunt woman. No, she's or, come on. Every be- anyway, every movie's better <laughs> with Reese Witherspoon in it. Did what? she not pass away? What? Oh my she God, did not Jesus. pass away. <laughs> she did no, not. No, there's someone who passed away. Brittany Murphy. That's what I'm thinking about. Ago. Different person. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was a different. That was before white the, lady. <laughs> that was before the 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 ditzy lawyer movies were out. Oh, um, hold on. Bridget Jones, J- no, uh, diary, diary, uh, blonde, uh, legally blonde. blonde, legally, legally blonde. Yeah. Bridget Jones, diary. Yeah, that no. one. <laughs> if you say it twice, it doesn't make it Once right. Once everybody says no, and you say it again, then the answer might become yes. So, all right, the all odds right. go up. All right, so, I mean, so okay, guys. All right, Mad so, Max. Um, Mad Max. Tom That's Hardy. Dope. Tom um, Hardy with a Bane mask on. Charlie Theron. Yes, that I think is Tom, my number one. I think Tom Hardy, by the way, he must have it in his contract where he just has to wear that mask in every movie. 
Must have Bane mask for at least 30 seconds. Yeah. I mean, he wore it for like almost like, the, all the whole thing. Is is from Dark Knight Rises. Well, listen, who's, how are they going to recognize him if he's not wearing a mask? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. Did, he, did, he, did he sound like Bane? No. No, he sounded nah. confused. He rocked the British. He rocked the. Uh, I was gonna say British, but the Australian. Yeah, he went for us. Tried to do an Australian uh, accent. Tried to do Australian. I don't know how well he pulled it off. Well, he didn't talk very much. Period. So that's true. Yeah, it's, conv- yeah. it's convincing enough. It's almost. Like, it was kind of like a silent movie, almost. Yeah. It's like everyone talked. A lot of visuals. Vi- a lot of visuals. A lot of visuals. A lot of, a lot of um, visuals. Visuals and what practical effects, right? Yeah. Of, like yeah. Stop cars. Practical and, effects. Yeah, they kind of uh, went went away from all the CG that you see in a lot of movies. It even boils boils down to that fan made black and white version that um, they took out all of the uh, dialogue. It's just audio and sound effects. Well, let's just say it's only music and sound effects, and it's just absolutely brilliant. So mm. you're watching a silent film. Nice, but it's with modern effects. Put a little orchestra <laughs> in front of it. Well, a little orchestra in front of it. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Nice. Although, although as as ten, as enticing as it is to watch, I mean that desert chase scene. You know the the Which colors. <laughs> right, yeah, there's the entire movie. I'm sorry, the one with the uh, with the big storm that gets wrapped up in that huge tornado. It's just like the the level of color choices used in that is just brilliant. I f- like I feel that even though the black and white version is would probably be monumental, like without getting a feel for what the colors were beforehand, it's just like you're missing out on something extraordinary. It was so mm. good. It was really well, good. George Miller, and I'm pretty sure it was just announced recently that he's going to do a second one. Or yeah. I mean, not a second one, but a <laughs> a new one. Yeah, I mean, there was some talk that he was not going to do anymore, but then like he said. I think he went against that. Mm-hmm. So, but um, that's good for him. I'm glad yeah. that of all movie series out there, like he is the only guy who has touched um, this franchise. Very true. And I think thank that God. is a brilliant. <laughs> well, I mean, not necessarily thank God. thank God. I think he just did a good job, you know? And it's one definitely thing that I liked about the movie was that, with uh furiosa and max how there wasn't like any like sexual tension Mm. and it was just two people working together fighting through the desert you know like you normally see that a lot in movies you know where Mm -hmm. like the main dude comes in and then like he bangs like you know obviously the the main female lead but in this case there was no there was no love yeah interest at all like they both wanted it to was, kill each other yeah the, the only beginning. love interest was between me and uh zoe kravitz <laughs> oh yeah late night <laughs> lonely night under down after the credit after the credits that's that's cool yeah i was saying but, it was, uh, was, yeah. was kind of weird since uh you're kind of like in the back of your mind just waiting for it even though it never happened which was kind of refreshing yeah <laughs> for real yeah. but i mean it, it did it did still happen. There was still like a love thing, like yeah. I guess with um, it was like a respect. It was more of a respect. Yeah, but thing. it was. It well, was. But it was. No, put I'm not off talking to... about love between Mad Max and uh, Furiosa. Furiosa. I'm talking oh. about the shiny chromy guy. Oh yeah, no, they. they yeah, were, he yeah, he mad, fell in love with that. Other. Yeah, but that that with, wasn't uh, with that redhead girl. So I'm still still saying like that theme was still in the movie. Yeah, but, but it, it wasn't. Was it was put the main character exactly. It was a subplot. It was a subplot. Yeah. So it wasn't like it wasn't which the was forefront, good. which was nice. Like we just got to enjoy mm-hmm. the, the the main characters being them, being just who they actually are, instead of like needing to have like this underlying uh, uh, romance that would probably seem forced in this type of situation. Yeah, right. top notch name for uh, characters in this movie. For real, Mad Max is a good name. Imper- Imperator. Imperator Furiosa. 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 Rictus Erectus. Uh, man, as soon as I saw like the very first ad for this shit, Shard I was like, Frost. Chad, what, the even, bullet. even if this movie sucks farmer. ass, Chad's going to be in love with Furiosa because it's just what he likes. This is fucking Which I was. powerful woman, uh, b- bald-headed, true. and a robot Mechanical arm. arm. And I was like, yeah. Chad yeah. would just be just jacking off this shit on the race. It's, it was just, it's <laughs> as if, like, the me or, and Miller just had a uh, power. Does me and Miller just had a powwow. He's like, well, what kind of what kind of things are you looking in for a movie? And it was like, it's going to be a bald chick with a robot arm, man, just <laughs> kicking ass all day. And he's like, all right, 
It was, it, okay. It's just like if you could have uh, Western grip hand jibbers by anything in the world. What would you want to be from Chad? Just like bald robot woman with a uh, bald woman with a robot arm. Just give me that, and I'll be happy. Left, left-handed. Just give me. Th- let's get. <laughs> let's get crazy. Just, just give me that chick from from uh, <laughs> from Halo. <laughs> what was that chick from Halo? Oh, yeah. That's what she was. Cat. Mm. Cat from Halo. Right. right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. cat. Yeah, from uh, Reach. The Halo Reach. Same yeah. girl. There you go. Halo and she's a smart one. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Good. Ooh. Maybe it's a. Maybe it's a crossover, <laughs> y'all. Halo Reach around. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> so Mad Max is dope. Yeah. Uh, so any, that hands so is I just went race. ahead. Um, anyone else want to talk about a movie? Jake, was, I mean, there was Max. About, That's, that Jake? was pretty much number oh, one across the board. Uh, what was another one? I guess I don't know. Let me just think off the top of my head. Maybe Ex Machina. Right. Since, that was fresh. Yeah, yeah, everyone saw that, right? No, I, I, I haven't seen it. But I, I I had that one right, uh, yeah. conversation that, with you, Chad, where yeah, I yeah, kind of discussion. I think I Inter- pretty much I interpreted the, the entire film. <laughs> called the movie, and you told <laughs> me like, yeah. It. What did you say, man? It, it's okay. I break it down. Uh, dude goes to mad scientist. This mm. is Lair. Okay. Uh, um, scientist introduces dude to AI. Everyone knows it's an AI. Mm-hmm. AI pretty much seduces guy and uh pretty sure the creator and you know dies and probably the guy dies as well and like AI tries to find herself at the end. And uh I think that's what happened. Oh am I right, Chad? That's wrong. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's actually wrong. Well I mean like I mean it's the it's, it's pretty it's, close though. It's the gist, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I'm pretend like I know what that word yeah, means. But it's just it's one of those things where it's like as <laughs> it's an easy as word I, I guess more what or less the, what is like identifiable as like the, the film would be. The experience <laughs> of actually watching it still is worthwhile. I yeah, because everyone I mean, I, does a really spectacular job acting wise, and the effects were really on point. Oh god, it's a beautiful movie. Yeah, so good. Plus, we got to see Poe. Po. Oh yeah, Poe and right, the other guy. Was... What's that dude's name? Oh yeah, he Donna was Hale, the, Donna Hale Gleason. I, I don't remember yeah. what was his, what was his uh, Star Wars name. Jackie Gleason. Jackie General Jackie Nux. Gleason? General Hux. Hux Huxtable. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. all leads back to the Star Wars, man. Mm. Damn. Yeah, man. I think it's like yeah. J.J. Abrams about. just went and like, oh, let me find these <laughs> act- let me find the actors from Ex Machina. Yeah. And I'll just you know what's crazy though? My first time seeing most of those dudes was from Black Mirror, which is interesting. What? That's right. He was in Black Mirror, one of the mm-hmm. one of the best episodes. <laughs> which had to which, do with the robot too, which is ironic as hell. There's robots yeah. all over the that place. That one was nuts. <laughs> that Black yeah, Mirror episode learn. was mental. <laughs> oh my lord! Dude, thank you, will learn. We should do an entire oh, Black Mirror Netflix. podcast. Yeah, there's a second season now. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, yeah, should, once once totally season two that. comes out, then we can really get into it. I'll have to add that to my watch list. Please do. You never seen Black Mirror? I've never seen Black Mirror? Oh man! Oh, That's, dude, you're in for it. You're in for it. You're in for a treat. My, I must say though that is a, a very good sci-fi like series. Mm-hmm. Like every episode is fantastic. I mean, if we had time to talk about it, we can definitely go in. But that's not tonight's show. Well, we'll, we'll do uh, when season two comes out. It's yeah. already out. Oh, John no, Hamm! It comes out on Net- Netflix. Yeah, it yeah, says three seasons. Netflix picked it up. It says there's mm-hmm. three seasons. Yeah, here. so season three is going to be on Netflix. No, it says they have three seasons available. Uh no 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 they don't have to. Yeah. It says season one two. No and it's just Christmas. just season one and two. Mm-hmm. Yeah yeah the the White Christmas episode was a special one which was it was uh, Netflix very good. Yeah, Netflix is lying to me then. All right I'm not, I'm gonna put Netflix doesn't season. have it yet. Yeah it does right now. But it's it's definitely worth a worth a gander. This is, is amazing. I mean the new series. Sorry. No. Amazing telly. It's it's run by Netflix. It says. <clears throat> No, yeah. now it is. Now Netflix it is, yeah. picked it up. It was a BC Oh, it got, it got season, dropped yeah. and then uh, Netflix picked it up? No, it didn't get dropped. I think Netflix just was like, hey, we got this money, these American dollars. I'll take it. And, uh, dollar, dollar bill, yeah. I like that. You know you want this. I like that Netflix is doing so, all this good shit and picking up these shows. Cause yeah, man. I think Netflix is, they're, killing it. they're definitely, I, to, I'm sorry, <clears throat> they definitely are pioneering uh they're pioneers of of media that we sit down and watch mm-hmm. i mean they from day one with uh um, the DVDs. from day one with um for dvds like coming at your door right. yep. and you know 
to that's how, that's now the, that's that how I watched the, I watched the entire Evangelion. What? <laughs> well, well, on oh, nice. Netflix DVDs, like, come, like, at, like three three <laughs> DVDs at a time. Like, so send them out as they're coming yeah, in. Yeah. I, I had to do it the hard way, man, where I had to wait for the episodes to come out and then I had to wait until HBO threw the movie on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my oh. God. Netflix back. This is like 2000 and I would say 2004. Bag. Yeah. When they used to send them in like the little white envelopes, yeah. red envelopes. Red envelopes? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. No. I think that's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's are, Netflix. Has Netflix been around for Yeah, that man. One? We had yeah. to pay yes. it was like ten dollars and you could get three DVDs and you can no, have them I'm for aware as long of as you that. wanted. I'm aware of that, but no. Yeah, dude, since I was in fucking yes. high school. Two thousand right. at least two thousand four. No, probably earlier than that. Two thousand three, two thousand two. I must be tripping. Yeah. Nah. I had it I had a Netflix subscription in two thousand four for sure. Google it, Chad. Now it's digital. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all streaming now. It's all streaming. It's, no, it's love DVDs. And now they're even going further with, you know, having their own original shows and stuff like that. So far, I've all been it's pretty good. It's definitely revolution. Like, it's a, it's taking over. Like, all the major companies out there are kind of butthurt about it, you know, like Comcast and Time Warner and stuff like that, because no one's watching cable anymore, you know? Everyone just has, like, a Netflix subscription or Amazon so imagine if they continue in the way that they're doing that they're pulling cable to a single subscription. But anyway, All so right. moving on. Uh Chad, I think you uh you want to go next? Uh yeah. I mean there's Terminator Genesis. This is a complete disappointment. All right, talk about that. Um, Terminator, Terminator, Genesis. Terminator Genesis. All right, I'll give that a couple minutes. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what right now. Let me tell you what's happening I, with this fucking I've franchise. I've seen that movie with Chad. Yes, he has. Actually. I will tell you exactly what's wrong with this franchise right now. It's the same thing Everything. which which yeah, pretty much. They're kind of running on the same fumes that Star Wars was except that with Star Wars they're in better hands than than this franchise here itself. They've been through at least four or five different Got that production Disney companies. Money. You know, nobody, I don't know who the fuck was the rights to that franchise anymore. And at this point, they pretty much reinforce why time travel in film is a complete, utter waste of time. Because with this, they they almost, they mistakenly introduced the idea of multiple dimensions and not actual time travel. Because if you can completely restructure the entirety of a pre-existing uh, time stream, you're not in the same timeline anymore. Like, at all. So yeah. they so it's one of those things where it's like okay so this whole time you're not doing there's there, there's no, really no such thing as time travel you go back you're not even in the same place anymore which is kind of yes I guess I guess that is the point but if you're going to call it anything call it the right thing it's inter, interdimensional travel let's go on with our lives outside of that effects wise cool seeing Arnie again on film is also very awesome seeing him re establish his role uh, the chick who played Linda Hamilton, I could do without. The Asian dude playing T-1000, couldn't care That's less. That's the mother of dragons. Ka- yeah, Kyle, yeah. I mean, she's she cool, is, but she didn't really pull that role off She's of me. a good looker. This, this Jai, I've seen her boobs. This Jai Courtney guy playing Kyle Reese, that was a complete fucking I've also down. seen her boobs. Otherwise, yeah, it was a, it was a fun hour and like 40 minutes of just seeing Arnold as the Terminator again. So, <laughs> all right, let's move on. That's my three minutes. Yeah. Remember that shit. Yeah. Next. All right. So, on my list, I got number one, Sicario, which we Talk haven't re- have we really have we really talked about it. Not really. I think I might have, have brought we, it up. We chit chatted, like actually, no, you and Luis, you and Luis seen it. You guys um, talked about it, it was when it came bloody out. Bloody brilliant. Everything about oh it God. is by far. It was okay. So what I will say about it because you guys haven't seen it and we can't really yeah. talk about it. Please no. No, you well, can't. Oh yeah, we can't go exactly. Back like we can't really have like a discussion about it. But the, what I will say is that um, most of my favorite movies, when, when it comes to like me kind of calculating in my head what my all time favorite movies are, are from like growing up, right? Because you grew up with them and they kind of shaped you into being like the person that you are today. Like for me, it's like Pulp Fiction. It's like. Mm-hmm. Um, the Iron Giant, right? So these are all movies that nice. came out like in the '90s, and they, the, you know, as I was kind of growing up. And and it's very rare that I watch a movie now that gives me the same feeling like those did when I was coming up, right? When I was growing up, like mm-hmm. so that so my list of favorite movies is all populated with movies that I kind of just grew up watching. Now there's been a couple instances where I saw a movie recently, and immediately I was like. This is right up there. Immediately, 
So one of them was Drive. Nice. Right? With Ryan Gosling. Right? So beautiful, watched beautiful it film. and I walked out of it thinking like, wow, this is like you one of my all This is like right up there with all my favorite movies immediately. You in know, awe. like in awe and just totally like this is instant, an instant classic for me, an instant favorite. And Sicario gave me the same feeling as, as when I saw Drive. Nice. Oh, wow. That's pretty dope. Mm-hmm. That's uh, pretty enticing. Mm-hmm. I need to watch this movie then. Uh, right Downs, do you have any other? Like a movie? Uh, of, the th- <laughs> of the three that you saw last year? What was what that made your list? Uh, he said Ant- Ant-Man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, nice. <laughs> Nice. I, I didn't. I didn't really like it, that much. <laughs> but it was a movie I saw for 2015. Oh, right. I did like certain aspects. It was a fun movie, but it was just it was it was it was kind of interesting seeing Paul Rudd in that in that uh, suit, environment. In that suit, just in general, as like a superhero type character, uh, you know, um, it really didn't suit him. But I think he pulled yeah. it off pretty well. Yeah, that's exactly that. It was like <laughs> he did, did the best like, he could so with what he had. What was Michael Pena's character? What was his name? Uh, Pena. It was like, was it like Lu- Luis or like? <laughs> I don't remember. Something generic. Okay. So he, but, that's the, the like, for me, that's what sticks out of Ant-Man. Yeah. Like it was him. The and, racism. He nailed it. Wait, the <laughs> racism? No, it was just his, like, was he, he was basically like, immediately became like my favorite Marvel character. And then he, oh and yeah, then, he was good though. And then he any movie, like, I was just like, okay, out of all the Marvel movies that have ever come out, it's, he's pretty much my favorite at this, from this point on. Yeah, the, the one thing that, like, did kind of. Just how he, like, explained. The narr- and I, like, from what I understand won. it, the, yeah, narrative the narration came, like, that was something that they have added later on. Mm-hmm. So it, was, it oh, is really? interesting to, you know, to think about what that movie would have been like if they just left it up to Edgar Wright. Right. Mm. Like what his version of it? It would have been, been a been very like. different film, no doubt about it. Yeah, for sure. Oh well, Paul Rudd actually had a had a had a little bit of the uh, his fingers in the, in the screenplay as well. Mm. Yeah, but um, people, but Adam McKay, right? Didn't he? Yeah, Adam McKay. Yeah. And they st- they started off with something from I think Edgar Wright, like his his original story. Hmm. And then they kind of you know who knows how many people yeah, touched it up. They they retconned it or not retconned? They movied it up. Um, but I guess the only one thing that kind of ruined it for me later on was like after the movie had come out already, after I'd seen it and after it's, it's been brewing for a while, the, uh, some people did the physics of it. And it's like he, when he became small, if he became more infinitely dense, the, the, he would like, the, if, the if he punched someone, like, bust through the, bust through the door, like, <laughs> nope, excuse it's me. Like, like, bullshit. Yeah. No, but, but no, it's like, if you punch someone as the tiny ant man with the same density that he was before. He would fucking just kill everyone instantly with one punch. Uh-huh. Pretty much. One punch man. Like he would he's like he it'd be like a bullet going through you. One punch man. But they did Serious explain punch. that. They they explained that. That's why um no. uh, the girl who's gonna be the wasp, I mean, okay, it's a comic book movie. Remember that. But she did say, like, listen, when you're that small, you can't like slug someone in the face or else you're just gonna kill them. So like kinda hold back. Yeah. So they did mention that. Uh, but he was like it, flying it, through the air it, and smashing into people. Uh, they would have died. Yeah, but <laughs> it's it's a it's a comic book movie. I know, it's I know. not real. Yeah. It's, well, it's like, like, that didn't stop Neil Tyson from going in on Star Wars. Like, well, no. well, <laughs> well actually, if well, you have no. a Death Star, this is why Death Star couldn't be this close to Tatooine. <laughs> it's like, all right, fuck you, Neil. I'm just, I'm just gonna ruin everything <laughs> that you think is right about this. Well, film how come? <laughs> with, with how the come truth. the Death Star? How come the Death Star could blow up Princess Leia's planet in a few seconds, but then the next time he had to use it, it took him about 30 minutes? Keep doing what you're doing, Neil. Just <laughs> keep, keep doing what you're doing. Fuck you, Neil. I mean, I really, I would love to meet Neil deGrasse. I would, I would listen to this podcast. Keep yeah, ruining would, people I on Twitter, man. Life. Just keep ruining people's like movies on Twitter. Yeah, you do that so well. Badass that dude is my unofficial adopted dad. <laughs> no, he's not shy. <laughs> We are. We all know he is, that he is. is everybody is. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do, man. It's a fucking arbiter, man. Oh yeah, that's a black dude. Yeah. That's oh, your, oh shoot. That's your, oh yeah, for sure. That's your secret dad. He is all right, let's do. Let's like. Father. Does let's anybody do. else have any top movies? No. Uh, I, mean, I got a couple more that I can well. kind of fire off. So Not we spent a lot of time last week or last pod talking about Creed. So that's in my top five. Um. Which I'm still itching to see. 
got to see yeah. it. So also, it was just announced that Ryan Coogler is going to direct the Black Panther officially. Oh, so oh, that yeah. was a, 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 a huge win for, huge. for us that are Black Panther fanboys. I wish I had Michael J. White still. Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been so good. He looks like Black Panther. But he's, he was, no, what he do you mean it. still? Like, he was never the Black Panther. Uh, what? That's Michael J. White? No, he... Oh, I mean, I, I've been saying it for a long time. Okay. <laughs> that's just your... your that's been your choice for a while. It was I got a, him to yeah. follow me on. T- I got him to follow me on Twitter for posting that. So okay, bonus. So he's 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 oh, got his. He's go. he's been keeping track. He's been keeping track of my Twitter posts. He's, he's been, been. I think keeping track any, of anybody that yeah that who wants me to be Black Panther, please. Any jobs for any Someone. anything? I think he's he'll be yeah. down. <laughs> I will play Spawn again. Yeah, yes. that could be a possibility. I mean, uh, Black Dynamite too. But um, yeah. oh yeah. So action, we talked Dynamite. about Creed. Yeah, the Hateful Eight is a movie that we went to go see on Christmas. That was well, uh, uh, Luis said it was underwhelming. Well, yeah, a lot of people say it's been it's, it's shit. Luis is is kind of a, a Tarantino hater. Very much. Uh, kind of. Why? Oh man, he's one of those guys. I think so. I mean, uh, yeah, like, probably because he uses the N word. So <laughs> he's anti. So uh, yeah. so anti N word. Anti. I'm a big I'm a big Quentin like another. Kind of, yeah, I'm a huge fan of his. Yeah, he's one of my you know all time. Put him on my Mount Rushmore for directors. But Pretty much. so I, I went into it like, wow, this is gonna be amazing. But all of his movies kind of like you go into them like anticipating like the greatest movie you're ever gonna see, mm-hmm. and you know, and the N word. I think that the build up was it was it was pretty big, um, and then the movie was kind of a smaller movie. You know, it was kind of a very you know, it wasn't like the last few that he's done that are just right. kind of great in scope. You know, this is really small and kind of it all takes place in kind of a single cabin almost. Gotcha. And I think it's one of those movies that you you got to watch it a couple times for you, for it to really sink in. Mm. But it was, I still put it up there. I thought it was amazing. Um, and then Inside Out, I don't know. Oh, I still want to see that. Where, yeah, that's on, that's, where, that's there. where you guys stand on Inside Out. But I got... You know, did you I, get feels? I got feels. Tears, what? tears is came this, to is the this face. Is this movie really that dope? Like on some real shit, man. Is it really that dope, bro? It's about your emotions. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it, it's it's visually, of course. I mean, Pixar they did a very awesome job right. of showcasing that, and it, it's one of those movies that it brings you back to that point of your life. You know that we all now like 30 something year old guys go Speak back to for being yourself. like yeah oh i'm i'm 30 <laughs> i'm not i'm pretty sh- <laughs> Me sure that yeah okay you guys are like trailing behind by like one year two. anyway two son so, two. Oh, psh, sorry I'm in my every, 30s, but every I, month I, counts <laughs> yeah okay i got five I, I, I am in my Ooh. 30s but i was just kind of <laughs> anyway carlos went back oh, it's so 30 shit but it, it, it's it's a Oh, awesome movie! God, man, like, I it just I gotta see it this. hits like on all those childhood points that you know at this point, as I was saying, that we've really forgotten about, and it's. I mean, there are some scenes in it. I don't want to spoil this one. No, you, yeah, be, n- not because do I. it's it's just it should not be spoiled at this point. Was it Toy Story three ending esque? Well, that, yeah. Well, what you're talking about is not the ending of Toy Story. It's like. Kind of, kind of in the middle. Is it you talking about the conveyor well, belt? No, no, no. He's because well, I mean, in Toy Story, there's oh, the, the end. Yeah, the, the ending. End, when okay, where he kind of is yeah, sad. Where, he, where Andy yeah, kind yeah. of uh, don don- I, donates, I donates his toys. Does, and it, then does, there's, does it hurt your heart like that? Then there's, there's like the death there is, scene. There is like something that gets me every single time, and that's self sacrifice. Yeah, let's, let's not. Uh, mm. All right, let's not. No, push it's this a, further. yeah. It's a good watch. The movie. Right. Watch Inside Out. I. We should talk about that in the next pod. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. But, um, excuse me. I'm going to appropriate this film. You should. Yep. It's it's about a 12 year old. It's 13. 12 or 13 year old. Teen. Teen. teen like girl. preteen or teen. Pre-teen. Early teen. And um, yep. and they're moving to San Francisco, and which is interesting mm-hmm. because my son Saiyan, who was on the last pod, uh, he was around that age when he moved to the Bay Area as well. So there was kind of a lot of like 
similarities, similarities yeah between mm. like what they actually i don't know because I, I should actually ask them. <laughs> <laughs> i'm assuming that there's like you know there's like a big difference between where you come and then when you come to san francisco and everybody's eating like broccoli on their pizza and you know and there's like mm, you know good. and you're you know you paid like a million dollars to live in like this like rundown shack <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, they moved from the midwest minnesota i believe yeah minnesota oh, that's where mm-hmm. brandy's from that is yep. speaking of yep potato land anyway so that's cool yeah so i have one more that i just wanted to give a shout out to it's in so Who's i got that? inside out creed hateful eight sicario and rounding out my top five is actually something that i just watched recently and is like i watched it and i immediately had to like put it on the list somewhere that's how i felt about it and it's uh Chirac. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. I heard it was good. Oh, God. So good. What's that about? So good. It's about Chicago. And so there's a problem in Chicago with gun violence. And (laughs) and they kind of put up some statistics at the beginning of the movie where... Is it it a documentary? No, it's it's almost like a musical. Uh, It's not almost like a musical. It is. is. It's a music. (laughs) it's It's a straight up musical. And it's almost like a musical. But it's um, in the sense that it's, it's what's a what's that dude, what's that director's name? Spike Lee. Spike, Spike Lee. Lee. There we go. Thank you. Come on, do the right thing. Yeah, amongst others, Mo Better Blues. Spike Lee's a man. Malcolm Spike X Lee kills it, man. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, they put up some statistics at the beginning about like the Iraq War and the Afghanistan War and the, the basically the the death toll for U.S. soldiers in those two wars, and then they put up the numbers of the gun murders that have taken place in Chicago that, that during the same amount of time. And the numbers are very surprising. So similar, uh, like, well, or watch or it, worse. watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine it'd probably be worse. And, um, and it just, it's eye opening. And then it goes into not only the situation, but the psychology that surrounds it and mm. the reasoning behind it. And the characters are very fleshed out and drawn out and really well written. And it is a musical, but, you know, it's they speak in a almost a Shakespearean, I would say. Right. Type of way where they have like a cadence to their talk. Well, they speak in rhyme. Uh, I see. And they're rapping rapping all the time. time. And it very much. And I think that's just fine. (laughs) Oh, no, Chad, oh, watch out! Jake's watch out! The cypher. Jake, Jake dropped the cipher. Um, we went from Carlos, Shane, and Chad, and Ch- yeah, Jake, Jake was like, "No, down, sorry, brother." <laughs> yeah, listen, there's drop too much, can't rap. Drop there's that too cake. much ethnicity going on here. Too Come much on. ethnicity going on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, I was telling, I watched it with Zayn the other, a couple of nights ago, and and I was telling him that it, it very much reminded me of uh, Romeo and Juliet. Mm. Yeah. Great movie, by the way. Mm-hmm. Love it. Tis so, but a scratch. Yeah, in the sense where they speak with it, kind of a, like the their way of speaking is like heightened. Mm. Um, but that yet they're you know they're they live in like the modern world or like our you know our world, but they have yeah, like yeah. this other way of this other vernacular that's like, kind of kind of contrast a curse poetry. On both your mm. houses, mm-hmm. yeah. Swagtastic, B. Yeah, I, I I heard a lot of people thought it was going to be like Chirac, you know, like Chief Keef, Lil Dirk, Lil Slim Jesus mm-hmm. in there, like whoever drill time. Shout out to it. Nick Cannon for getting Being all of those it. gang tattoos that was, uh, in real life. In real yeah. life. <laughs> That's yeah, commitment that right there, yo. Like you support to his uh, character. Yeah, there. I mean, that's commitment. commitment. I mean, those are those stay with you forever. Yep, for life. Did he actually but, get uh, tattoos? No, man. I don't anyway, know. It's possible. So, I don't know. I'm. Maybe he did. Hopefully he. Hopefully did. he did. But <laughs> yeah, from what I heard, a lot of people were a little bit upset with it because Wesley Snipes is amazing. Dropped. What? They thought I got it was going to be. It's amazing. <laughs> his, his, Wesley Snipes. The best. Perf- the best this. Wesley Snipes per- performance since uh, Simon Phoenix. I'm down. Yeah. Well, yeah. I will watch this. But. <laughs> what ifs? All right. I want um, to throw out one last shout out. It's not from 2015, so if it, if it doesn't qualify, I won't. No, wait. Why are you gonna shout it out? Because it was a great. It was from 2014. It was a well, great, great. Did you see it last year? 
No, I saw it. In, I saw it in two thousand. Chad, just say yes so you can put it in. <laughs> no, no, Chad, Chad. You, so you currently does had it, the requirements, like, and you just called yourself. Does out. it go against well, the say rules? anyway? Wait, we'll just say. Yes, shout out, shout out, to, shout out to Aronofsky and Noah. Like from two thousand fourteen, that was Noah, amazing. You are like the only uh, yeah. person oh, sure. that I know who is about this movie for like the longest. Yeah, the fuck. I mean that shit. Yeah, you know that shit legit. Like right. was amazing. It was an amazing That's experience. Uh, <laughs> no really was. And and and, I, and I'm, I'm I would I do need to stress this. Uh, someone going into watching <laughs> going going into watch this movie not really knowing mm-hmm. the fundamentals behind the story, other than just you know uh, the deluge and some guy saving some animals. So when you real when you really break down the like the the principles behind everything that transpires in this time frame it's it really kind of makes you take a step back and think on a lot of shit all of the religious rhetoric aside this is some legit you know human based fallacy you know fallacy. narratives you know it's re- it's really really fundamentally good movie uh, well, i will i will stand are, by that is it is it a wait, document no, is it a documentary are you, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's documentary. <laughs> they follow the real me, life. I, no, I, I, I thought this was is a fictitious story. Regardless, no. oh, hey, no, no, it's not fictitious, uh, dude. It is what it is, man. Let's say no. I mean, I, like, I, I got, I got. I'm sorry. I gotta ask you one thing. I'm not. Sorry. I'm what? I'm being real here. You are a uh, avid Darren Aronofsky, Aronofsky fan. I That's am correct. too. I am too. And I will say this. Every pretty much every movie I've seen of his, I've I've quite liked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, is one. this is this movie truly <laughs> good, or are you just riding off the of, uh, of the yeah. hype of Aronofsky? Yeah, no, it is it is really that good. We can do a whole Aronofsky pod. We really can. I'm like Man, I no, I, I, like, I, I, def- like, I understand. Do that. Like I understand what you're saying. You know, because I yeah, I'm like I'm biased as fuck for Aronofsky, but no, this movie legit. And I feel I have a good basis for for um, for saying this because I really don't know much of anything about Noah. And if I were to derive what? the parable of the Bible from good this bagels. film, you know what I'm saying? Is like I would be I would be inclined to sit down with a hardcore religious Christian and just like ask him, you know, what the fuck was up with this dude? Ask him about yeah. the rock monsters. Yeah, <laughs> the golems. The golems. Dinosaurs. That's from Jewish times. That's what I'm saying. Like you have to understand, like this guy, yeah, that is this guy Jewish isn't time stuff. You know, like this guy. I, of course, you know, give Aronofsky his credit. He didn't just write this film for the fucking sake of it. The guy knows where he gets his source information from, and you have you have both sides of the party arguing the exact same thing. Where you have like Hebrew and Christian uh, oligarchs, you know, writing about the same fucking story. Some of which, you know, omitting certain aspects that they felt didn't suit their you know their preachings so when you have christians like what the fuck's up with these rock monsters and all that bullshit it's like yeah because you know you you obviously never read the tour in your fucking life or you live off as king james you're not gonna I like know that when shit. he was on the heat better. you watch this film and he fucking pays homage to both religions perfectly you know what i'm saying you know i like i liked it when noah fought all those guys in rome that shit was sick, bro. Oh yeah, i'm just saying i never <laughs> my, my i never saw king, i never saw king though, Arthur, Chad, though. Chad. go ahead Chad, mm. um, that's fine. It's not good. And also Robin Hood too. Yeah. Oh yeah, but, um, Robin Hood was good, bro. <laughs> yep. Kevin Costner. About, um, <laughs> Kevin Costner. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Superman had both Robin Hood dads, right? Anyway, but um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> what? I just yeah. caught that. <laughs> you, the good. movie. Yeah. Well, uh, what's well, this? Clive, yeah. Clive Avil, whatever the new one. Both his dads are Robin Hood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His like. Kevin Costner and when was Kevin Costner? He was, uh, oh he my was, gosh! Stop he was in Jor El. He was, was he was uh, the <laughs> Kent, the was, Kents. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, bro. He was like the original. They could say one. they say dad and stepdad. They don't say dad. Well, bro, they're both yeah. dads. Bro, they, he, he's stepdad. the one who raised them, yeah, man. That's his dad. He's that's the his real dad. dad. That's his stepdad. Oh, so the other guy's like, yo, you're a superhero now, bro. I want to be your dad again. He was, like, a, he was his dad, dad and jor was his his biological dad. Biological. His bio dad. Yeah. All right, they say dad and stepdad. No, no. Both dads. Stepdad is when your mom marries <laughs> yeah, another man. Exactly. That's a she stepdad. May, she may as well have. Nobody told the fucking planet to get blown up. Right? Hey, listen. Martha did not <laughs> but she fuck did. Jor-El. <laughs> All right? Not even once. 
Not even close. <laughs> light years and billions she of might, light years. She might have hit that crystal a few times or something. I don't know, but that's about it. Okay, Shane, I don't I don't, I don't mean to interrupt your question so, any further, no, but no, I just, no, just want to ask is, one quick question, though. Like, do they ever discuss the time frame between Krypton's explosion and him landing on Earth? It was a while. I yeah, cannot it remember. It was a while. But it was a while. Yeah, like, a because, long, like a long time he was mm-hmm. in space? Yeah. Didn't he go, th- Probably didn't he go through? Probably not that far. Because his, it looks, it looks cousin, like he ages normally, right? His cousin mm-hmm. also comes, right? Supergirl. Yeah. And when yeah. she comes... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she comes hard. <laughs> She's oh, she's hey, just yeah, she's a like a wait he's already grown oh wait hold on no she stays no he's like no she's in space for a long time he yeah, comes like she, he gets there right away yeah when it blew up he like flew through some fucking wormhole and he's like a toddler by the time they did they aim him. yeah did they because, aim him towards Earth or just aim him out of the system yeah. in general no because by the time Earth. she Not lands Earth. on Earth. Clark is already like yeah, a thirty already a thirty year old man yeah he's already Superman he's already Superman so she actually. Took it took her like she's older than he is technically. Yeah, technically she's oh, older. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. So she was she was stuck out there, kind of like just floating for a minute, and he just kind of just jettisoned, got jettisoned. So was so yeah. was now this she, is like she was a, seeing the sights, like the like a paradox of time, like him being on Earth, where more or less aged him more than her being out in space, kind of thing. No, I'm thinking it's because the pods have some sort of cryogenic sleeping thing going on i guess so he, mm. something like that Kryptonian but, in, but anyway Kryptonian. go ahead what are you gonna say but yeah my, my my question is what voice did god have uh in noah in that movie anthony yeah, hopkins right he, no. He, no was it anthony hopkins no no no, no he, didn't, tony, he didn't have tony hopkins was it <laughs> he did Alanis not he did more not, set <laughs> he did not speak <laughs> that was it was just <laughs> that was kevin it smith was just, it, it was just noah being oh. schizophrenic the whole time pretty much it's like what? Got, got a whole bunch of animals? All right, man. It's like no. What are you talking about? Like, what was it? More like signs <laughs> then? Like, no, yes, it was. The, Give me a sign. The influence, Burning bush. the influence of the creator, quote unquote, as Aronofsky referred to him as, was direct. It was indirectly direct. He what? He, <laughs> I say no. I, it makes sense when you think about it because there was no actual traded dialogue between the two. But his the, belief, but the bush, and, was on, the bush was on fire. No, that's um, that's Abraham. That's later. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> not, not, excuse me. That's Moses. That's not I'm just Abraham. I'm just throwing out like um, Bible stories. Moses. But there was um, a whale. He lived in the whale. Tank. No, that's, that's another. That's, that's another guy. Pinocchio. Um, Pinocchio. That's, Pinocchio. I think that's that's, that's I also think that's, Job. that's also later. But anyway, as I was saying, the this is the this communi- is after the, the, communi- the communication between the creator and Noah was indirectly direct. He spoke to him through you know visions and interpretations of signs of activity that was going on around him so and he got his guidance from his grandfather a person someone who had been along been alive for like 900 years or so and was a lot closer to uh to the creator than everyone else at the time like the way shit was written back then mankind apparently was able to live for you know almost like a millennia without death wasn't be prior, that a prior to the that was a different that. story, wasn't it? That was no, no. This is just old. Story. This is just the Old Testament. This is just how shit was after the deluge. Essentially, when man started over from Noah's family, that's when the lifespan started shrinking drastically. <clears throat> I guess that was this God's interpretation of like, well, you know, if you guys are if you guys live forever, you're just gonna fuck shit up even longer. So let's just take you off the planet as quickly as possible. So you, I think it, it went was, from uh, people like having thousands of ate. years. No, no, I don't think that's it. Yeah, like, yeah, no, that was in... I mean, after Noah came, there's like, you know, everyone had like GMOs in our food and all that type of crap before it was all natural. They put fluoride in the know? water. All right. Yeah, that's what fucked us up. That's okay. what fucked them uh, up. Yeah. After no, after we the were about flood. to live a thousand years old, but yeah. but, but anyway, that fluoride yeah, it is now we're just like, like I'm, 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 I'm legit. If you guys have you guys actually even seen this shit? I saw it. Fossil fuels. Oh, I've not seen it. <laughs> I I've seen it. But I mean, like, oh, first things yeah. first, why do you even say that the creator is a he? That's kind of messed mm-hmm. up. It's the, it's, it's a, like the, it's just it's the masculine mess, form of misog- uh, in general. Misogynist. This is, that's just my, yes. that's just my, <laughs> what do you call it? What? So you think that my influence, God, of, my, my influence of growing, growing up of us, like alluring, alluding to things being male than female. Yeah. Mm, conditioning. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. That's just my conditioning. It has nothing to do with sexism. It's just clearly you've never seen dogma. That's the Yeah, that's dogma did it right. Yeah. Dogma is the that's that should be like the new Bible. Yeah. It even had Snape in it. It did. Yeah. Yep, he was in there. Snape, Chris Rock. He, he 
He did a good Emotion. job. Like he didn't drink. He just tasted. You know, tasted that the blood water, I just that fire to water. Taste the alcohol. We're not allowed to drink it. <laughs> but uh, can we talk? Okay, can we talk about TV. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about TV. We gotta. Hey, you know what? Let's just make it a special show. Let's just run it for a little bit longer. Then. We have a lot of stuff to talk about, finally. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, TV. I'm pretty sure we all watch the same type of shows. Uh, mm-hmm. Who wants to go first with this? Yeah, I, I will. I yeah, yeah. The number one right. legit number one TV show of last year. Send me something Motherfucking weird. for you, Mister Robot. Mm. That show oh was Emmy, Emmy award on winning. point. Oh my god, that shit came out of nowhere. Not Emmy. Um, uh, Golden, Oscar, Glo- no, Golden, Golden Globe. Golden Globe. Golden Globe winning. Uh, uh Mister Robot. Remy Malik. Legit, he's good. That Sam, fucking Sam that was just here. telling me that uh, he's in um, not Dark Souls. Is it Dark Souls? Is it he's Dark in uh, Souls? a game? A game? No, he's in uh, he's in this new like uh, click click as you go horror game. Until dawn. Until dawn. Mm. No, Mister Mister Robot there, was it's such a beautiful Spoilers. experience. Like I told mm-hmm. Shane. The twist at the end, which I won't really spoil. I it's not a twist. I, I keep saying that it's not a twist. <laughs> it, well, I did, I because the it. whole thing is like it's obvious that that's what no. It but is then, the whole but, time. Then, but then I guess maybe this speaking on my experience, it only became obvious after the fact because, like I told no. Shane, I went back and rewatched it the second time, and, and the clues were all there. They're they all there, dude. All there, and I was and like, I had and <laughs> I already. I mean, by like episode no. three or four, I mean I already. It was, I mean, I, 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 and listening to the creator, like, I mean, he, 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 when, when, when they reveal that, yeah, it's like not a big deal. They just like keep going, like you know, like they just move on, like yeah. it's like nothing. It was just kind of like whatever. Yeah. It was whatever, and that's what it was. Like it wasn't a twist at all. It was just like, yeah. That's, I mean, so, but anyway, so like you have the you you have the you know the most prolific concept of our age, uh, more or less borderline schizophrenic. Um, paranoid tech junkie, you know, pro- like programmer slash hacker living in New York, Manhattan of all places, constantly, constantly reminded and surrounded by decadence and just, you know, this oversaturation of advertising and the inevitable destruction of mankind. And this show so vividly paints that picture mm-hmm. among all of these very, very rich characters, you know, that all like for just some reason melded so well together, like legit. Well, it was probably the best like twelve or thirteen episodes of a show I've ever seen in a long time. Very I was good. watching it and I was just like, like, yo, do they know what they're putting on TV? Like, <laughs> like, like nobody's like, wa- did, like nobody watched this before it's, they put it out. No- is no one saying anything? Because about like this? you're not supposed to be putting this out on TV. <laughs> like this it's is like amazing. yeah, like amazing. you're like self sabotaging yourself, right? <laughs> and it's USA, like, yeah. It's USA of all networks. It's like one of those like this is this is legit <laughs> like an AMC kind of thing. If even like yeah. uh, this should be on HBO or IFC? something, but or even IFC for that matter. But no, it's USA. It's like. Yeah. Well, they're not These known for putting weird. out like they are not. prestige dramas. They are they, not. They've put, they hey they had silk stockings. <laughs> All right. <Okay. laughs> but I, no, I'm 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 there with you, Jake. I know about. Silk you remember stockings. that intro, yeah, yeah. bro? You know about that intro. <laughs> the sexy intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, Shaped my childhood. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, man. That show was on. Hey, point. that's a good one. Mm-hmm. But I I will agree. Like definitely for it being on USA, it it was um. For the subject matter that they're talking about, it was very like you wouldn't have thought it'd been on USA. What I did love about it was the first episode or the episode where he breaks the, down the child, the child pornographer. No, no, not the child. Well, yeah, that that's good, but um, but more so when he's talking to his uh his mm-hmm. therapist and he goes to that point where he says that whole thing about steve jobs how people yeah. are this and that and how like you know people just really want to be sedated and all this type of stuff like to me like that set the tone for and that's what i put it in the first actual episode show you know because you're right you're you absolutely know? right that set the tone that speech set the tone yeah that speech the, the you whole, know and like you know season and i really love that and i love how it wasn't that he even said it you know it was 
he thought about saying it. Yeah. Which showcased that he is even part of his problem that yeah. he hates as well. I love that. I love but, that, man. It's so dope. But um, one thing that really stood out to me, and it, it, it's more from a graphical standpoint, was the um the introduction of the title. Yeah. Every time it was, it wasn't like you know a show has like you know like a build up whatever like something that constantly repeats over every episode. It was just text you know mr robot and like somewhere love new. how it looked yeah, yeah. You know? it was always somewhere new always hey. something new okay before yeah, we continue was... on i really just want to play this one clip as near the end of this Wait. near the end of the show just explain it Chad. it was it was an, inherently he the the his dad pretty much brought f- forth reinforcing like you mentioned the speech he gave to himself at his therapy session on the first episode and you know it's called the title of it's called we live in a kingdom of bullshit at that point it's just kind of like these two minutes of him explaining why our constant incessance on relying on these these entities and these edifices that they themselves tell us what it is that we should be buying how we how our lives are these minute moments through so, like the diatribe of social media and has absolutely no you know sustenance behind it and the fact that this conversation is taking place in times square the one place on this planet outside of like the really shitty areas of this planet that i really really abhor like there is how nothing much is about it to, to like shut down times square and just like film millions film a, a, to film right film a scene we gotta close we gotta millions. close this for like a half a Lots. day Lots. yeah it's like all right that's like a hundred million dollars <laughs> 500 million millions i mean look into it but i'm sure it's i mean to run ads there one it's well, they millions had, they of had, dollars. didn't they shut it down for i am legend that was that was cg I don't think so. probably i don't know yeah you gotta do it cg you gotta like yeah, create right. create times you gotta recreate it because yeah. it's cheaper yeah yeah but for all of you listening, if you haven't seen it, please watch this show. Or just do what it you want. So you, you can do whatever you want. This is America. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can. Um, I okay, to add to this, I will say Carlos put me on to this when I uh met met up with him in San Fran last year. Uh The Leftovers. Which I'm dying uh, to see. I caught season one and season two. I enjoyed it. Uh, but did you finish uh, man, season two? Yeah, I nice. did. I did. I, I, it left. It left me. It was a good. It was a good close closure. It was a good closure, but I, I don't know. Like this is something that I've been, I've been talking with Chad about recently. Is that I kind of feel that certain shows should be like one series, like not one series, like one season, mm-hmm. and. You know, even if you need to, like, extend it to, instead of your regular 12 seasons, do, like, 24, so you can have that much more time mm. to tell, like, Episodes. The story. Instead of 12, do 24 you episodes. Know. Yeah, correct. You know, like, I... I, I, I disagree. <laughs> no, no, well, I, I think there's certain things that should end, because you start to pick up on the, Repet- the repetitiveness yeah, of how they're trying to give you the same type of story and stuff like that, and... Granted, you see this. Yeah, but in... that would be even worse if there was 24 episodes. <laughs> well, I'm just saying you just would <laughs> get what you episodes, get and I that's think, it. If anything, I like that, you know, how like Sherlock does it. It's like, here's three episodes. All right. <laughs> Have yeah. fun for the year. I haven't seen that, but like to me, like that would be nice. But I, I think we need to start ending certain things. But L- Luis anyway, Luis has um, been just... talking my ear off oh, about the Flash. And he's like, yo, you got to oh watch The God. Flash, man. The Flash is where it's at. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, how? Like, what is it, like 10 episodes? He's like, no, there's 24 episodes oh in God. season one. I'm like, no, thank you. Like, I'll run, like, I'll run out the, how, how I'll run the other way. How did y'all, like, The Flash? Really, really how fast. How did y'all feel about <laughs> Lost? Well, that's, The Leftovers and Lost oh, are yeah, both Lindelof. So there are, I mean, you can feel, the, like, parts of like, Lost in The Leftovers. Like, I, at least yeah. I do. Like the mystery, that's there's the, like things that are that's just the not one about, really explained, and there's like a scene where a lady like digs up a bo- a, a box that's buried, and then like she opens up the box, yeah. and a little bird flies out, why? Of it. and it's like 
what the fuck? That's not a, like that. <laughs> that shouldn't that's, uh... be a thing. <laughs> but it, it, they just do yeah. it, and they don't explain it. They just like they move. You know, it just moves on, and you're Move just kind of left. That's to, like, the one where all the people just kind of disappeared randomly, right? I the think party. yeah, they departed. Yeah. They just disappeared randomly. And there's like and all at the town where they, they it wasn't it wasn't that many people. It was just like one eight like one yeah. out of every eight people except for this that. one town right there was like a specific town or something i don't know miracle well actually it's not called miracle it's called jarden uh, yeah i've just heard bits and Jardin. pieces but it seems really interesting no it's it's a good don't get me wrong it's a good um it's it's a it's a series. show where it's like oh, there's certain episodes where you're just left like what the like how am i fucking what am i supposed to do with myself right <laughs> <now>? <laughs> cliffhangers <laughs> after cliffhangers not cliffhangers but it's just like so much shit happened like so much and it's just like a like a microcosm of like what we deal with and you just see it and it's like it's not like a glamorous show it's not like really i wouldn't call it like a, a fun show you know it's mm. a struggle show and i could see why people aren't into it's it like because a cho- it's not yeah, it's like, like a it's like a, a happy show like, it's like yeah <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's not a chore because it's gripping and it's like, you know, at least if you're like me, you like to see, you know. It's like it's kind of taxing on you, yeah? At the end of it, you're at at that. Yeah, yeah, it could tax you, like, you know, emotionally and physically. You're afterwards. Not in a bad way, but, you know, it definitely is challenging. Man, see, that's my problem with a lot of these shows and stuff. It's like I'm not in the mood to be, like, stressed out over these people. (laughs) Yeah, so give us something that is like just a fun watch. Like you don't have to really um, spend too much time fucking worried about oh, birds man. in a box. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Marin, I've been talk. I've been talking that up a lot. Mark Marin, oh, yeah, you'll love it. Chad. You'll love it. Marin, it's a it's a show on oh. IFC. And the oh. last season, the latest season, just came out um, before Christmas, maybe at the beginning of the new year. Uh, on Netflix, they have all three seasons out. It's fucking great. It's like loosely based off. It's kind of like um, Louie, except it follows another stand-up comedian mm-hmm. uh, who's like one of those like he, he's a podcaster, he's a podcaster. And he's like one of those like nar- narcissistic Jews who are really upset. Is, wait, does this guy yes. have like a beard? He's a mustache. He's a mustache. He's a mustache. Probably, I think he has a beard now. If you look him up, but it's, he has a pod. Oh. But it's funny. Uh, he had a he has a okay. podcast. He talks about the podcast, the whole fucking show. I mean, it's, like I said, it's loosely based on his life. And I've never, I've watched all three seasons, never wa- listened to the podcast once mm. until that's crazy. the last season when I finished. I'm like, why, why the fuck have I ever listened to this shit? I listened to it and I've listened to like as many episodes as I could find. The fuck is fucking great. It's one of, it's one of my favorite podcasts now. Yeah. Hands down. Well, most people. Oh yeah. I think has, was well, has been listening to the podcast and then, and then kind of like, oh on the podcast he mentioned mm-hmm. oh, i'm also doing a show now you know like i have my own show that i'm also doing and if you would you know if you like the podcast yeah it's watch great my show, it's really good both um but i watched like a couple of when it first you know he first announced that he was doing a show i was like oh that's that's awesome because he's been a you know he's been a comedian since yeah. the 80s like the late 80s uh and i remember watching him on, uh when i was like 10 years old like on, he was like doing like you know on hbo like half hour comedy hour I remember him, him and like Janine mm-hmm. Garofalo and, and even Louis back, back in the days. But then I guess like those other uh, comedians all kind of made it big or whatever. And he was always kind of like the odd, the odd man out, you know, like mm-hmm. still kind of struggling to, to, to make it, you know, mm-hmm. to get a hit show or whatever. And then he just started doing his own podcasting. And obviously that's, you know, it's been the biggest podcast ever i think it's pretty much yeah i'm surprised podcast. that i'd never even heard it at all like i, I listened to a shitload of podcasts i'm surprised i never heard of that one for some reason i don't know i just got yeah he, he did he interviewed obama he did i haven't listened to that one yet mm-hmm. I, i've been trying to i've been there's some other ones that intrigued me and i, so I was like one. oh obama when i will oh, we'll get that later <clears throat> um all right i'll throw one out there um because <laughs> okay it's my turn but uh you're the worst. Uh, is a show on FX. Ooh, that's FX the adult X one or something like that. FX comedy. Yeah, um, it used to be on FX, and then they switched it to FX something else. Not really sure. You can, you know, you find it. You're the worst. It's a, a comedy, and it's probably my favorite oh, wow. show of the year. I would say uh, it was my favorite show. Mm-hmm. See, they just finished season two, so there's only been two seasons. 
Uh, if you want to get into it, you can catch up quick. Uh, when it first came out, I was just like, wow, this is bloody brilliant. And I can't believe more people are, aren't watching it. And I thought for sure that it would only get one mm. season. And then it got renewed. And I was happy. And then I, I think the <laughs> ratings are even worse this year. But it's one of those things where you want to watch it and then you want to tell mm. a friend. One last quick shout out, I guess, before we change subjects. Uh, halt and Catch Fire. Oh, definitely a, so good. a winner. So good. I've only seen the first season so far. I'm waiting for the second to come on Netflix. It is pretty dope. Season two is even better than season one. Right, from what I hear, mm-hmm. they really capture the spirit of living in the in the dot com age before there was even a thing of the dot com <laughs> age. Pre, that's way pre dot com, bro. Yeah, so it's pretty. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty fresh. Pre dot com. Pre dot com. It was like Miami Vice times. That's yeah. that's just <laughs> that's DOS early early eighties. <laughs> yeah, it's DOS. It's like before operating systems. But it's just in that in that spectrum of being on the forefront of an amazing technology. Mm-hmm. It's just and it was, they captured that pretty effortlessly. Hoverboards, yeah. synth synthesizers. Uh, yeah. We got them, 2016. But they're yeah, but they're they're banned on most college campuses yeah. now. So what's the point? Synthesizers. I think they're banned in most countries. They do catch. <laughs> they do catch fire. <laughs> they do catch fire. Yeah. They will spontaneously combust. And on spontaneous top of that, you just look like a Boom. fucking moron driving that shit around. Yeah, that, yes. That's besides the point. Nah, <laughs> you don't. I will, I will nah, second you your halt and catch fire. I got a couple more that I just wanted to touch on. Fargo just Word. finished season two. It's fucking amazing. Um, as good as a movie? It's better, I would oh, say. What? That's a Coen Brothers classic, dude. What's wrong with you? Yeah. I know, Word. I know, and it feels like a Coen Brothers. <laughs> it feels like a Coen Brothers movie. Um, so if you like Coen Brothers, then you'll love this. But I it's it's it. different. It's not yeah. the same, but it's it's like that, but more. Um, it's got r- rich characters. It's fucking violent. It's awesome. fucking funny. It's like characters that are gonna make mistakes. You know, that are like headed down the wrong, the spiral, the the downward spiral. And there's nothing, you know, that you can do about it. They're just, they're heading for it. Oh, uh, no, another good show. One of yeah. my favorites, Comedy Bang Bang. Mm, okay. Is that any good? More, more comedy, man. Because, like, life is short. You should spend as much time laughing. You gotta laugh. It's right. really, it is, it is good. It is good. You gotta though. laugh. It is good. Yeah. I'll, there's I'll, a lot of darkness. In this I'll give, I'll give this, darkness, this might man. be in. Right out. Right outside of our, I mean, our right doors. now, actually. Yeah. Wait, wait, are you talking about? Wait, you do I live in the outside, and it's um, dark. <laughs> There's wolves out there, is what but I'm saying. But Chad, it is it is produced They'll by two They'll gentlemen get you. you may know quite fondly. Um, with the, what are we talking about again? Comedy Bang Bang. Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, I'll give you a hint. The very ending, <laughs> the production company says absolutely. Oh, oh Nathan. Nathan. Huh? Nathan. <laughs> no, Nathan. That's, yeah, Nathan for you. He does. He does that. They do. They do him too. Yeah, that's yeah, um. Uh-huh. That's that's the only reason why I know that's that. uh, Tim and Eric. So that's oh, cool. Tim and yeah. Eric. <laughs> what, what company is that? That's their own. They're just called Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and it's like that redneck guy that with that's, that that's Tim's cap. dad. <laughs> that's his dad. Trucker hat. That's Tim's dad. Yeah, from, absolutely. Yeah. yeah is it? Tim's dad is like an old video from in real yeah, life. Real dad from 1992. That was a home video. Oh. Uh, and he's like, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Fun facts. <laughs> All right, should we should we wrap this show yeah. up? Uh, one, yeah. Uh, let's. I want to do one last one last topic. We okay. think we got ten minutes. Wait, topic one, or to, yeah, movie? one last topic. One last topic. Our what would be okay. our number one Wait, resolution for the year from each oh, one. Uh, I got 14, this one already. P. Is that a resolution? <laughs> God damn it, Jake. Why? Yeah. Why do you have it to works. be that dude? <laughs> because I have 1080p monitors. It's time to upgrade, man. 1440. God yeah. Damn it. Los, yeah. Los, let's go. All right. Mine is, and I've thought about oh, this. God. Um, it is to be, so it's 2016, I'm going to be prepared for an emergency. Oh. <laughs> so you got uh. so you have your cell phone on you at all times. No. I mean, like, you got to have the fucking, the droplets you put in the water. You gotta have the space blanket. <laughs> you gotta have uh, the radio. You crank it up. The astronaut ice cream. And I realized that I don't have any of that shit. Like if there was a fucking emergency, 
And you do you live do in a live place in, that, yeah. even if it were, yeah. There's a lot of zombies. Everybody well, I was going to say it. zombies. I don't, well, think of, I don't think of fucking I, space planes. I was going to say earthquakes. Zombies. <laughs> like, oh no, the zombies got under the blanket. Are you sure? Like, you don't know about zombies. They can't bite through the foil. <laughs> <laughs> it's too shiny. It hurts their 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 fucked up eyes. Yeah, you could you could blind them. They're already blind. They're just gonna stink. I dig that. Get on you. Everything yeah. So that's cool. that's yeah. what I need. I need. You know, you gotta have you like flashlights. You can jack certain, off and then cans cans of uh, beans. Food. You know, perishables. That's, that's the wrong flash. That's you gotta have flash enough. Flash you, you gotta have an, a. Flash. You don't need. You don't need. A that's flash not the one you want. You gotta have a flash. You gotta have you a flashlight it, first of all. The, uh, the light comes. No, a shake weight. No. There's, there's no light. That, actually, you know what? That's you a natural you need good a shake idea. And a flashlight. Jacking off in the if dark. Light you know does I come think out. you're onto something. If light, if light does come out, you got more shit to worry about. No, 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 no. Seriously, <laughs> think about okay. it. <laughs> Emergency, think about right? It. But, think about it. Let's, let's look no, at really this kinetic about energy. Just, <laughs> you think about just fucking that. You make light. a, fl- you make a flashlight that you get that lights up. That generates That's electricity after you jerk off. Well, no, but there's no batteries. Oh, okay. It's you a self-powered flashlight. Exactly, but you can still like have some fun at the same I time. Is there, is there a proper ratio of how long the light lasts between how long you use it? <laughs> Maybe as long as you can go, buddy. If you're one of those guys that you're like two <laughs> strokes and that's flashlight's it. flashlight's going out. Like, hold on a second. If it's a good, if it's a right, good guys, flashlight, I'll fuck fucking fucking Playboy light. magazine. I'll be right back. <laughs> But Playboy yeah, like doesn't have movies anymore. That's right, bro. Hustler then. <laughs> oh, no, you be screwed. No, you gotta get those vintage. You just be reading just articles like, yeah, about like ramble bush in the crotch, and you're like, I don't know. Like, like, ads this is like, requiring too much imagination now. <laughs> like, this is perfect. All these words. Anyway, so <laughs> who's next? So, wait, wait, wait. I wasn't done yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm still going on about the things that I have to get. Okay, oh, right. so uh, wait. You got the charcoal tablets. <laughs> you, got, you got the zombie blanket. Charcoal tablet. That's what. That's what. Uh, it purifies water, yes. right? So if you find like water in like a well, you gotta you can't just drink no. it. You gotta put a little t- tablet yeah. on it. Well, char- charcoal tablet will, will will fix your upset stomach. Okay, so you gotta have plenty of that. Water. You gotta have. I got so I I I went on Amazon, been looking for katanas. <laughs> nice, the real ones. Gotta now. have. I mean, I just realized that like if somebody if there was like an intruder or something like I really have nothing. Well, I was looking around like what am I gonna use like fucking. I got my skateboard. That's about Google, it. Google or look on Amazon for Paul Chen. His shit's legit, and you can find a good one for a decent price. I was looking at, uh, I think, uh, Cold Steel. No, that's just fake. Oh, really? Paul, Paul Chen. That's Paul not good. Chen makes a good one. Basic katana. Okay. <laughs> I need something. Or you, you can always go to Japan. No. Nope. Oh wait, no. Hanzo, Hanzo, Hit, Hanzo Hitori. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot you can't go back no to Japan. Entrada. Yeah, rub it in. Rub it in. Well, he, he hasn't really looked that up. Yet. For. I'm sure hey, some... I could no, just get Hanzo I'm... to come here. Yo, you know him like Hanzo, that, son. Yeah, your fucking instant transmission, <laughs> Hanzo Hattori. Hey, come here. Yeah. Just no. I, I need mean, the obviously you, you, you know, he's, you know, I got a place. I you got a what? couch. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he needs a place couch, to crash. Son. I got a fireplace I mean, or something. You I think there's. Like my oven goes. I to think there's more to. I mean, the oven, oven goes down to the street. Fire. You could just use a b- oven, right? <laughs> No, I, I think there's more to your story to why you can't go back to Japan now that you're saying that you got Hanzo like on speed dial and he can like come by you at any time. So shit went down back in the day. This is interesting. <laughs> this is very interesting, Los. Yeah. Anyway, so continue. You got so you need a katana. You need charcoal tablets, yeah, space blanket, flashlight, flashlight space blanket, flashlight, shake weight <laughs> for shake for weight. The flashlight, flashlight up. <laughs> Your arm up and ready. <laughs> yeah. We're working out the flashlight <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you got your, and your and your katana. No, no, no. Katana. But you guys, you you helped me realize this better. Yeah, so that's, I think that's you, uh, I, yeah, I feel like that. Like I utilize my time. <laughs> All right, who's okay. next? Yeah, you can go. Jim. All right, resolution for 2016. I think this year, uh, it is. It actually is in conjunction with what Los said, uh, just being independent before this year is done, being fully self-sufficient in the most best way as possible. I guess mm-hmm. you know, I can ask for a lot. You know, of course, I want to lose weight and all that stupid shit. But I think it's about time that you could always be thinner. Yeah. You know, I just want to get to that Dinner. point where 
<laughs> yeah, no, I'm too thin. Yeah. It's anorexia. No. You can always be thinner. No, you can always, bones. No, I promise you, you can. <laughs> so that's so that's mine. Just be self sufficient in this new year. All right. Yeah, that means. Do your own laundry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make my own food. Fold your own clothes. Pay my own bills. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Can't, Rake your own leaves. Your own diabetes. Don't ask what is, mom. It, sound, it sounds nothing. like you just need a kid to do to do chores for you. No, <laughs> Carlos has got that. <laughs> Chad, that's just later. have a kid. Chad, Late la- laundry leaves. <laughs> sounds like, like that's hey, what kids this, are for. Just uh, just go outside and fulfill this list for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's find a boy. You want you want to <laughs> eat, right? <laughs> yeah. I have these resolutions. I need to be self-sufficient, so go do these things for me. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, it makes sense if you're a parent. <laughs> yeah, so free labor. Uh, yeah. That's part of being I mean, so, it kind of, yeah. So just to be able to handle yourself in any in, in in yeah. situation. Mine, mine kind of goes along with the fact that uh, I always need to have something coming from amazon mm. like i have this like weird thing where i have to order oh like if something is not on its way the from same amazon problem at all your time, life is, in, your I, life like, is I incomplete feel, yeah like i feel weird like like damn uh, you, you, i don't have i don't have anything nothing's like, in the mail no deliveries like yeah nothing like so i figure i can still fulfill that need but then at the same time i'm getting shit that i should have right i see Brilliant. You know, like shit that could potentially save my life that's good. That's a healthy combination. I must yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Using using my my own. You could also sickness. You could also subscribe to like toilet paper and stuff like that. And food. Well, toilet paper, I have plenty of that. Cereal. I have I have those like, things. Oh, my animal package thing. It's just like yeah, like uh, I don't know. You know the survival stuff. Yeah. Hammock. If, just, if shit gets shit okay, gets real, you may you may run out of wipes pretty just soon. Just get MREs like every fucking day. Just have yeah. them shipped one at a time. Like you can buy like the whole bulk. Is there pack a, uh, or a box. yeah? No, no, just give me one every day. I need about packaging. All right, uh, Jake, Shane, any one of you? What do you guys got? Shane, you go ahead. I want to hear. What's, I want to hear Jake. Oh God, Downs, what's your resolution for this year, uh, bro? I really don't have one. Um, I guess just trying to fucking you know better oneself in general. Well, um, you know, there's always improvements you can do. And are you seeing anybody? Like uh, with my. Uh, Currently, in like a romantic at way, like in a in a sexual. Way. <laughs> uh, no, no sexual ways uh, as of recently. What about in a in a potential way? No, not really. Nothing. I, I'm I'm kind of doing my own thing right now. Mm, and that's what people say. <laughs> <laughs> which means it's just like no one will come into my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nobody's nobody's paying any Look attention. Like, come here. So that could be something. I mean, you know, 2016 might, might be the, that year where I, you. I you guess know, I, meet I wouldn't really. Important. I wouldn't really put that as a resolution though, because like I'm not gonna be like actively hunting for a human. You you can't. That's the thing about exactly. it, is that you have to you as soon as you are trying to find somebody, that's when nobody wants you. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and, and it's just one of those things where it's like I've I've always been the type of person where it's like I'm not the one to go out and like hunt for a lady or something like that necessarily just like you you let them come to you just kind of see if they're you hang out with people you think are cool and then if something happens and something happens like what do you mean details uh i don't know you don't i don't i've never specific specifics what i don't it's it's i don't think there's anything really to explain tongue or i mean what i mean i'm talking when i say hang out with people i'm not talking about like oh man we bring them back to my house i bone them all night no, I'm talking like just regular peeps. Like I meet uh-huh. them, I'm like, this person's cool. I could hang out with them. You write a you write write a poem. I write them poems about how great I am. And or do you go straight ask, ask the mouth? And then ask the mouth. Whoa. That's that's Whoa. before. Whoa, it? this escalated. Listen, if you can't do ask the mouth, then, then you we went can. from writing poems. <laughs> Literally went from writing poems. Is that not the order? <laughs> To ask the mouth. Is that not how the order goes? Doesn't go fucking. I meet them. I hang out. I write a poem. Ask the mouth. Uh, just that's how, that's how it went. That's what I've been that's, doing yeah, all this time. We should we should draw that diagram. <laughs> Don't draw it. Just like arrow, I think I know pointed. it. It's fucking. You point the ass and then you go Jake's, to the mouth. Jake's guide to getting girls. <laughs> Success. <laughs> yeah. It's only like it's only like been that. met it's only been met with success. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent, baby. 
<laughs> the key to success. Oh, yeah, the most, you do that. Like, do like the the uh, the Tom Cruise character from uh, Magnolia. Steel Magnolias. <laughs> all right, that, that got like no response. Like, That's because no one watched that shit. No, I, I I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he was like. So I, I was looking at my Magnolia. phone when you said that. I don't know if I watched that one. I'm a huge. It's been many years since I've Magnolia. seen it. It's not Steel's the Magnolia. It's Magnolia. It's, uh, it's Magnolia. Yeah. Vanilla Sky. Nope. Different. He different. has a very different. good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it was it um a very good dialogue about oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. i remember magnolia oh yeah I was getting, 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 getting that getting the, the, getting the poon it all came back he yeah. had a man bun yeah he was like original the Bro, original he was, man bun. he was making it dope before it was yeah. dope i think he did that in uh the last samurai too <laughs> yeah damn great sure. cruise with the man bun all right shane last one what do you got we're, we're over time what's your resolution for this year uh bro i'm a bronco i live wild and free so humor uh, humorous what that's it What's where the wind ta- wherever the wind takes you you're like a, you're yeah. like a, you're a leaf you're a leaf in the wind uh, are, you, are you that bag with a guy with a video <laughs> camera watching you uh no i'm not the bag <laughs> that's my my man west bentley man <laughs> I'm not the bag. He I'm the a, air good inside in, uh, the bag. Just, just the hunger. The in hunger the games. bag for a little no, bit. The hunger oh, that's right. He played the man with the face. The face or the like, face? He had the hair, hair on it. I never watched any of those. <laughs> the face with the hair on it. That was weird. <laughs> I didn't see any of those things. But he also filmed the bag. Yeah, he did. And he was looking at that girl with the lopsided boobs. They were cracking. Like, Mena Suvar. Suvar. Very plain looking girl. This is gonna make me sound kind of bad. On don't put this yeah. part on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, all, That's yeah. the mouth, guys. That's she's how you do it. She's a very. <laughs> she's a she's a delightful. She's very, a beautiful, a beautiful young, young lady guy. who has. She, yeah. You're ready. Uh, so, it's all right, guys, turn off my mic's power. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, cat's out of the bag already. Yeah, but um. All right, Shane. Yeah, oh, man. You, you 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 don't leave. You know, you leave it up to the gods because you know you have no power as a mere mortal so why even yeah try to think that why plan, why plan it? it just best laid plans right i mean just i mean honestly i don't like try to set up like oh i'm gonna do this yeah. and do that i just as i look at it it's a new year you know like honestly it's something that um I realized it's like, why do we put so much emphasis on the first year? I mean, the first day or like, you know, the new year, like, oh my God, this is like, it's going to be a new year. We got to think about all these resolutions. This We're going to do this. This is the new me of this year. And just and like all that type of stuff. I'm like, no. <laughs> dude, this is just sounds like stuff that you kind of wanted to do last year that you didn't get around to doing. So now you're trying to do it now and you're making it like this big thing shane and, is shitting on all of us right now you know and to me it's just like he's like you fools you, you, <laughs> <laughs> i would never say that i mean like it's just you put in so much onto mm-hmm. these things and then if you don't do them then you're disappointed and then you think about it and then you're like oh man i should have done this should have done that like yeah have plans mm-hmm. you know it's, it's retarded not to but as I said, like, I'm a Bronco, man. I'm just living free and whatever happens, you know? Because, be honest with you, like, you can plan, let's say, oh, man, let me plan to go to Disney World and... Disney World's not there. Someone it's in, underwater. Someone in your family is, like, sick, you know? So then you have to tend to that shit or, you know, you're thinking, like, oh, man, I have the best job in the world. Like, money's coming in and then all of a sudden you go back to work, you're fired, you know, or my God, this is like, like the, even better, the worst way to end even, this even better. No, 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 no. I'm not ending it. With you. It's not ending on a bad note. It's like bad you can shame. eat, but you got to think about it. No, 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 no. no. Hear me out. We're think about to it. build people up, not fucking, right? <laughs> fucking destroy not, their I'm not Breaking people down. No, it's not even. Nah, it's, it's not even a twentieth year. Real, <laughs> you, got, right, yeah. you got hopes and dreams hey. for this year. Hey. You're lying to yourself, you stupid <laughs> bastard. But, they're gonna burn <laughs> just like before and the year before that. <laughs> and you're and you're gonna but, get fired. And you're fired, you shit. And you're and you're and you're all gonna, gonna go die. to the gym. You're gonna die. You're gonna go to the gym. You're still gonna be fat. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> but I overall, mean, you're kidding yourself. <laughs> you're playing yourself. 
Congratulations. No, no, if you really, yeah, if you really think all your family members are going to make it through this year, you're kidding Oh, yourself. my God, bro. <laughs> you're playing yourself. Someone's going to die. Someone's bound to Someone's die. Like, no. No, okay. But one say, for at, the end of, oh. at the end of the day, all Not these things day. are a possibility, right? And even when these outcomes, if they were to happen that way, what happens? Do you either do you sit back and just dwell on it or do you move forward and take it as positive as it can be? You know, for instance, let's say you did lose your job. Let's say you, you didn't gain the weight mm-hmm. or let's say, you know, you didn't get to go to Disney World. All these things happen for a reason. Let's say in the case, as I said, uh, one of your family members gets sick and you haven't gone to Disney World. The beautiful thing about that is that, you know, you you take a step back. You have a new outside, I mean, a new outlook on life. Like, you realize, like, oh, my God, Disney World are my family. Like, which one's more important? Like, you you get all these little blessings that happens. And it's not really Disney World or no, my well, family more saying, important. It's really, is, are, <laughs> am I more important have. or is my family more important? Are you, are right. you selfish or not not. and so that's what that's kind of the the argument that you're that you're essentially making you sound so you sound like you know you're somebody that would put your family first before yourself i'll be at disney Disney i'll be at fucking disney Disney i'll be riding roller coasters bro they've been like dude i signed up i got time off i got the tickets two hundred dollars just to get in to disney world mm-hmm. like yo you we already had good times your time is up peace out no but really, <laughs> I mean, what if I, though, I ain't a doctor like what am i me being there's not gonna yeah. happen situation. exactly no that that's all utter bullshit but um but you know same thing with losing a job it's something new that you have to come up against, you know? Like, you might have lost your job, but then it gets better. You know, it's up to you to take that and be like, oh, you know what? A, yeah. This job That's what, wasn't the best. They do say it gets better. You know? And you got to keep on moving forward. So, in a sense, I do plan. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't really have, like, oh, you know, what? as I already went on spew about, you know, this is what I'm going to do this year in particular. Like, this is what's going to be better than that. No, it's it's just... A continuous plan. I'm going to keep on working at certain things until it happens and take every little like segue that comes along with it and modifying the plan until, you know, that's it. So in a sense, I think 2016 is going to be a good year like all of them are. Kudos to Shane Prescott, the Bronco. Shane the Bronco. Yep. All right. That's me. If I may, gentlemen, I would love to, if I may have the honor to end this podcast tonight, that would be great. What, what do you mean by end Like, it? sign us off. No. Uh, nah. That's, that's <laughs> fine. I, for, I forgot I'd ask. <laughs> Chad, you, what, just sign us off, Chad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to all of you listening that have been listening, we want to sincerely, from all of us, give you a wonderful and a huge thanks for supporting us in any and all which ways that you have listening to us telling your friend this humoring our ridiculousness at times our insight our craziness but for what it's worth we all are equally humbled for your time and we hope that you can stay on board with us as we take this thing as far as it can possibly go there isn't a lot in it but there is a lot coming from it and from us individually to make this what it is and let's hope that 2016 brings in a very fruitful and prosperous new year to each and every one of you So from all of us here at Art School Rejects, I'd like to give you one huge big thanks and peace out. See, this is why Chad doesn't do this shit because this is like way too longer than it needed to be. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chad. Please that like, was, comment, and that subscribe. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. That was good. <laughs> so I got I have a flashlight that's calling my name. I, a flashlight. Yeah, I got powered up. <laughs> even the whole time has been a shake weight now. Peace out, yo. Which one? Which one you got? Rock, 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 rock